Well, what I have here are a couple of Sanwa PM-1745s. But that's just the basic description because the specific description is 2Z, I'm sorry, 27Z, 27Z21 Charlie A74. That's the specific model number, uh, but the more generic model number is the PM 1745. Uh, but what is interesting about this is these came out of a Time Crisis 3 and they're both working absolutely perfectly. Not a single issue, beautiful colors, no problems operating, everything is, is fantastic. The pictures are amazing. But I'm making this video to document what I don't quite understand because I've got another set of these. I've got uh, uh, two of these already in my dedicated Time Crisis 3 at the arcade. I just realized it's also PM1745 right here. Uh, I have two of these in my dedicated Time Crisis 3 at the arcade. And then I was uh, gifted uh, two more of them out of another Time Crisis 3 that was being parted out. And the flyback transformer on the two that I have in my Time Crisis 3 are just like this one. This giant behemoth with this huge other piece here that takes up a giant footprint. That's normal. That's what's on all of these from the factory. But this one has this little tiny replacement here. Both of these have been serviced by Speedy's One Shop Repair Service. But what's interesting is, is that they have replaced this flyback. Now these flybacks like to crack along the edge here, right along the edge here on the plastic. Uh, they like to develop uh, cracks and they'll arc right to the frame and die. And I suppose that's what's happened with this one. This one here is completely intact, not a single hint of a crack at all. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, and like I say, these work perfectly, but this one obviously must have had problems because they replaced it. Now, look, look at this, look at the footprint of this one compared to this one. It's it's crazy and this works. There's nothing wrong with it and you can see the old footprint went all the way out to there. This whole area isn't even used. So this flyback apparently is a good valid replacement for this model of chassis. And for the life of me, I have never seen that before. So I need to take this out to document what the part number is on it because in the future, if anybody has one of these, they gotta replace the flyback on. Almost sure, assuredly, there's no replacement for this one. Uh, well, obviously there is, but I don't know what the part number of this is because I can't read it without removing it. So we're gonna remove it and see what the part number is so we can document it as a valid replacement because this is working, like I say, with uh, uh, as a valid replacement for this one, the factory one. So let's get this out of here. I'm gonna turn on the fume extractor. And we're going to use the desoldering station here to see if we can get this out in a rather quick fashion. It took five, uh, I don't like using this piece of junk because it clogs up with the slightest of ease. And uh, yeah, it's clogged and I'm not gonna mess with it. So I got five pads in before it clogged up. That's why you never see me use it. So we're just gonna go back to the braid. And I gotta get it unraveled here, all right. Now 
Now this particular chassis has the rivets on the vias, so it's going to be fun trying to get this out of here. And they, they used an entire roll of solder, it looks like. All right, I'm actually gonna cut away here and come back when I have all the solder extracted and we'll pull the, we'll pull the flat back out. Well, I'm telling you, I got this out, but this was uh, really difficult. So all of these pads, basically have a rivet inside of them that hugs the pin. Let me turn this off here. These pads have a, a rivet in here that hug the pin and it's hard to get the solder out from around the pin and this was the most difficult flyback I've ever had to remove. So if you look here you can, oh sorry, you can kind of see the rivet in these holes. It's just very difficult to get this out of here but with a little patience and a lot of uh, effort, we've got it extracted. So the whole purpose of this was to get the part number off of this. And it's in a bunch of what looks like Chinese lettering. Let's see if we can read this. So this was made July 13th of 2015. And it looks like BSC E6401. This is the only identification on this. So it looks like BSC-E6401, July 13th of 2015. So I wonder if we can look that up here and get a result on the old uh, jungle site. Um, and we're not gonna go to the jungle site. We'll go to Google. And let's go to BSC, Bravo Sierra Charlie, Echo 6401 Flyback. Uh, so E6401 for San Juan PM1745 Arcade Game. So sure enough, there is a valid replacement. I was unaware of that. Uh, if we go to Arcade Parts and Repair, I wonder if it's listed there. And what we say? E6401? Nothing. Hmm, so Peter doesn't carry these. Interesting. They're on eBay, though. Yeah, nothing. So there's no result on Peter's site for BSC-E6401, or there's also no result for just E6401. But if we go back here, you can see right there, BSC-E6401 for San Juan PM1745 arcade game. So sure enough, it's out there. For some reason, uh, Peter doesn't carry him, so I'll have to get with him and find out. But Okay, we've made a discovery. If you have one of these chassis and the original bulky, huge, gigantic flyback goes out and cracks and arcs and craps out on you, this is the valid replacement. So, okay, glad I figured that out. Glad I did that. So that's basically going to be the end of the video. I mean, not much to this one. I just wanted to get this flyback out to get the correct valid part number off of it and verify that it's a valid replacement. And I guess, sure enough, yeah, so I'm going to uh, leave it removed because I have to change out these caps that are in here and are much easier to remove and replace if the flyback is not in there. And here's a good shot of the rivets here. There's those rivets that hug the pin. They hug those flyback pins, so it's almost impossible to get the braid to uh, 
allow it to flow out, but with a little heat and a little uh, braid and a lot of patience, we got it out. So anyway, so yeah, um, that's gonna be about it. Like I say, there's nothing wrong with these. There's nothing really to showcase. Uh, the pictures are immaculate. They look great. So I'm just gonna cap them and reflow them and we'll call them good, add them back to the collection. And it's no real different than any other chassis. You know, you got, you wanna make sure you've got uh, no bulging caps, make sure that uh, you don't have any craziness going on on the bottom side. It looks like some rework here for the vertical IC got done. Um, possibly they changed out this IC here because there's all kinds of flux residue around the vertical IC and this IC over here. Um, and they didn't change all the caps, probably just a couple of strategic ones like this one here has been changed out. I can see because of the flux residue and yeah, that's different from the rest of them as you can see. It's a green one. So they changed out some caps and did a little rework on some stuff, but yeah, whoever this uh, Speedy's One Shop Repair Service is. So. Thank you, Speedies, for uh, getting this in here and m making me aware of a valid replacement. So, just kind of blows my mind how you have this gigantic, bulky three pound, five pound uh, flyback versus this one pound skinny one. It still does the same thing. So, very interesting. Okay, well, we learn something every day. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And uh, there's no, I got lots of content coming here. So, just a matter of finding the time to get them done. And get a video i just picked up five count them five one two three four five k7 thousands in various states of disrepair but i'm going to get those going i thought about doing a live stream of trying to get all of them fixed in one long live stream see how that goes but i'm not set up for that i thought about trying to get a setup for that maybe get a computer that can do live stream maybe do some live stream repairs try and expand the channel uh experience a bit but that might be in the future but for now yeah we got a valid replacement for the pm 1745 sandwich chassis uh, good discovery so again thanks for watching hopefully you learned something i know i did like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time